These DVDs make use of language that may be inappropriate for children or may be offensive to some viewers. The educational purpose for leaving such language in the segments is to show the viewer the profound effect that some of these techniques can produce and the student's unedited reactions. The key is how do you set this up? And so there's two ways that I've found that are very effective. Some clients like to have an armrest. I know you guys don't have armrests. So what you probably want to do is get the book. So I'll do it without the armrest here. You can get the client to have the book and put it like this and just lean forward slightly. Some clients have better movement if their whole hand is free to just hold it like this. And so what you basically do is you still the pendulum and you say, great. Unconscious mind. Sometimes uh, unconscious minds like to give a signal for yes that looks like this, and you pull it. So the actual hand has a little bit of movement to it, and then let it swing so the client feels it. And sometimes unconscious minds like to have a clear signal for yes that looks like this, and let it swing. And then you hold it still, and you go, great. Now give me a signal for yes. Please amplify that. Great, so that would be yes, going this way. And then you say, dear unconscious mind, please give me a signal for no. So no is going like this. We can get the unconscious mind to amplify it. Please amplify it. Cool, so yes would be this way, no would be this way. And then you start right into the, you start right into the approach. Yeah, if it, you draw it, I would, what I would do is I'd draw it on a little piece of paper and you would want to hold it underneath there or if you can position the book like this and so it's underneath there so the client is able to see this is yes, this is no, and then you would ask the first question, do you know what to do to solve this problem? Yes, great. As soon as you see it, move on to the next question. As soon as you see there's only a quick movement there to yes, move on to the next one. In other words, you don't have to get it... <laughs> <laughs> I see some people like this. I see some people, right? Okay, do you know what to do to solve this problem? That's already a yes. Do you see that? Okay, amplify it. No, amplify it more. I really want to make sure it's a yes. Come on, unconscious mind. Swing it more. My unconscious mind is going like, what do you want me to do? So really, you don't need to do that. As soon as you see it moving yes, just slow it down and say, great. Is it possible to solve this problem? Oh, it's thinking. Yeah, okay, there's a yes, great. Is it okay to solve it? Oh, that's nice and still all of a sudden. Oh, had to think for a second. Now it's okay. Sometimes it might just think about it for a second. It wasn't still there for a second though, didn't it? Yeah, unconscious mind, we're doing a demo. Come on, help me out. <laughs> there we go. There is a clear signal for yes. Then you go right into the next one. Oh, okay. So you do each one, each step of the way.